Meanwhile, down I-75, Bowling Green wrapping up their series with Central Michigan. Scoreless in the second, Drew Lechner goes down swinging. Andrew Abramowitz strikes out the side. Home half, Tyler Haas, former Eastwood Eagle, rips one to right. The two-out double for Haas, the first hit of the game. But fortunately for the Falcons, nothing comes of it. Third inning, still scoreless. Abramowitz freezing Mario Camaletti. Season high, seven Ks for the righty. We are still scoreless. Fifth inning, bases juice for the Chips cleanup hitter Danny Wustenfeld, and he does his job. The grand slam to left, part of a six-run inning. Chips add two more in the seventh, nine-nothing the final, as Central Michigan sweeps Bowling Green, improving to 18-1 in the Mid-American Conference. We just want to want to create as many opportunities as we can every inning. You know, want to get the leadoff guy on and, and again, move him over and get the big hit and put ourselves in position to, to score runs. And, they, they made pitches, they made plays, uh, they made some really nice plays up the middle, turned some double plays, and um, you know they they do what championship teams do. And I know I just said that, but it's mm -hmm. it, it it's right there for for us to to become that. And we just we got to learn from this weekend. We had a championship team on the call for this one: Brad Wasnicki and Rick Poland. Thanks. Back out here at Stellar Field. And entering this weekend, Bowling Green knew they were going to have their hands full with Central Michigan. The Chippewas, one of the top pitching teams and hitting teams in the Mid-American Conference. And as a result, Central Michigan has now won 17 consecutive Mid-American Conference games. Today, it started with small ball. Yes, it did. And it looked like uh, you know Bowling Green had an opportunity there early. If they could have scratched across a run right there at the beginning of the game when they had some runners in scoring position, uh, I thought maybe they could uh, really put the pressure on Central Michigan. But when that didn't happen, Central Michigan turned on their jets, and they proved why they're the, at the top of the MAC. Hey, Andrew Abrahamowitz for Bowling Green was very strong through the first four innings, striking out seven, only allowing one hit. But that fifth inning, without a doubt, is where things opened up. You got three sacrifice bunts in that inning, plus the grand slam off the bat of Danny Westenfeld. Central Michigan is a team that has been the team to beat. The Chippewas have won the last two Mid-American Conference regular season titles, and they're on their way to number three with a big matchup coming up against Ball State. Well, that'll be a big one, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of eyes in the baseball world on that, especially in the MAC. But, uh, you know, looking at this Bowling Green team, uh, they're a young team. They're an up-and-coming up and team. Uh, they, there's some lessons that they can learn from, from this game. They can see what goes on on the other side of the field, try to uh, emulate some of that. But uh, all in all, I think that uh, Bowling Green is on the right track, but you really just have to tip your hat to Central Michigan. They've got it going. Yes, just like Bowling Green head coach Kyle Hellick said, the Falcons will learn from this one. Bowling Green will be right back here at Stellar Field next weekend to take on the Western Michigan Broncos as Central Michigan remains alone on top of the Mid-American Conference.